American Natural. So as you can see here, we are still using slot zero and I'm not sure why, but I'll try to increase this number to 10 slots. Let's see what's happened. What's going to happen. Yeah, it's still not working, that line not reached, as you can see here. We are, we, we are ac actually waiting. As you can see here, the waiting is happening. Right? So I got what is happening here. Besides our rating here on this number of slots uh, be working expected, our contract here does not have a constraint on the on the validation time. So we need to add also a constraint here on this validation time. So we pass to the script the deadline expect as expected otherwise uh, our time range in the vesting contract let me show you look remember the time the time range we have here at the script context if you don't pass anything what is going to happen is that this tx info value range here is going to be in from infinity to infinity right so it basically means that our deadline is never be inside of this uh, infinity to infinity. Not, our deadline is not never gonna actually have because see, we create an interval from the deadline to the infinity, and we test if this interval is inside, is contained, is inside of this. Uh, value range which is by default from infinity to infinity so it means that our interval does not have this bigger interval right so our inter interval here need to be constrained it need to be small enough 
to be inside of this interval here so this deadline which can pass so to to do that we need to provide a a constraint right here otherwise we're gonna not be able to to validate that so by using a constraint here like ctc uh, must valid validate in we need to pass an interval of POSIX time and we can build an interval like that from uh, from creates uh, from creates an interval from number to the infinity okay and if you create this interval from the the current time to infinity from the current time to infinity and we say hey uh you must validate this transaction in this interval look now our deadline could be our deadline interval which is from the deadline from the deadline to infinity this interval here could have inside the valid interval of our transaction which is from the current time which somewhere after the deadline to infinity so in this scenario our transaction would succeed right so this This is a bit hard to understand, but it makes sense. You have a bigger interval from now to infinity, and you have a smaller interval from the deadline, actually a, a bigger interval from the deadline to infinity. So if this uh, from now to, inf to infinity is inside of this deadline to infinity, you know, yeah, the transaction should happen so because the deadline have ha, is in the past you know so we can build this and this should work by doing that by creating a transaction that must validate from now to infinity let me just see if i have imported contract transaction contract time we also need to for this now actually this now is current time so I need to get now from this function chain current time It's working. So it basically means that our transactions have has been allowed. Uh, we can try to remove this. Let's remove this just to remove this question. I guess this is gonna happen in different slots. Let's be sure. If I remove this waiting here of 10 slots, let's see if it's gonna work.
So it keep it keeps working. We don't really need this this uh, code here, uh, as I was expecting to happen in different slots. So we don't need really to wait that. So I'm gonna commit that. Add beneficial and the line. And I remove those warnings here. Let's see where we have warnings. Okay, that finish our uh, lesson on 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 vesting contract on Cardano transaction lib. Of course, we still need to solve the front end, and I'll leave that for the next module. This is a big module because I'm gonna implement from the back end to the front end everything we need uh, from the from the contract up to the wallet integration. So I'll leave that for the next module. I hope you find this useful. Please remember to tick the bell to receive notifications on the next module. And I see you there. Bye.